Let's have a session on GDP, gross domestic product. So GDP is a measurement of economic growth. And the definition is the value of all final goods and services produced in an economy in a year. But the important thing to recognize with GDP is if GDP increases, it suggests that incomes are going to increase. And if GDP were to fall, it suggests that incomes are going to fall. Now, the second key point to recognise is GDP fluctuates with the business or the economic cycle. And the business or the economic cycle looks as follows. We've got time on this axis and GDP itself on the other axis. And it's the idea the business or economic cycle will move through phases. So it may be at a boom and then due to an external shock, it moves into a recession, even worse, a depression, and then there's a recovery phase, and then you move back into a boom phase. And the, the long run trend of growth is increasing because the second boom is higher than the first, but it will go through these phases as it gradually increases over the long term. Now, important thing to recognise with the business cycle is that the business cycle exists because of external shocks to the economy. Think about ones that have happened in recent years. We've had the 2008 credit crisis, we've had Brexit, a smaller shock, and we've had a larger shock in terms of coronavirus, the pandemic, 2020. And when you have these external shocks, they tend to be exacerbated by businesses and business confidence. Because if you're in a recession phase or a depression phase, then businesses are unlikely to invest and they're also likely to destock to reduce the size of their stock they hold because they expect less in sales. And on the other side is that if you are in a recovery phase or a boom phase, then businesses are likely to invest more in capital, in fixed assets or non-current assets. For instance, a factory. And also, within these phases, the recovery phase or the boom phase, they're likely to invest more in stock. They're likely to restock, restock being current assets. So their strategies will clearly be dependent upon the business or the economic cycle and where you are within them. Now, the third thing to consider is that almost all organisations, all businesses are impacted by the business, the economic cycle. But the amount, the amount, the extent that they are impacted depends upon YED, income elasticity of demand. Let's go through some small examples. So if your YED was estimated to be plus 0.3 and there's a 10% increase in GDP, which may lead to a 10% increase in incomes, then if your YED is 0.3, 0.3 times by 10 is 3%, so you're likely to get a 3% increase in sales. That's your estimate. But if your YED is estimated to be much larger, let's say plus 2.5, and you get the same 10% increase in GDP, and therefore the same 10% increase in incomes, then 10 times by 2.5 is 25%. So you're now estimating that you're going to get a 25% increase in sales so both these businesses, A and B, both have been affected by the business cycle and its movements, but the extent that they've been affected depends upon their income elasticity of demand, their YED. More details on how that impacts the functional areas, of course you've got the click that card up there, and otherwise, see you at the next sesh.